today I'm going to throw, or attempt to throw, um, not even a particularly big thing in the grand scheme of pots, but I'm going to try and throw uh, a fruit bowl that's going to be basically the width of my kiln. Um, it's about, I'm going to throw it to 38, I think it's got to be absolute maximum is 35 to fit in. Um, I am not very good at throwing big pots or anything above a mug really. Um, and in this case quite stiff which always makes it a bit trickier. So this is going to be ugly. You'd think getting better at throwing some things would make you better at throwing everything, but it doesn't carry across that well, I find. Imagine getting good at throwing big things helps with small things, but um, throwing lots of smaller pieces doesn't necessarily make you any good at throwing big things. just under three kilos so again I mean really not a lot of clay compared to what some people routinely throw but the most I normally th throw is two and the vast majority of what I do is under one and I really want a bigger kiln a much bigger kiln so that I can justify practicing bigger things. But the problem is, I basically have to recycle them because this is going to take up half of my kiln, which um, is not viable. Can't do it often. Also, I haven't tried anything this big standing. So it'll be interesting to see how much harder it is without being able to anchor myself the same way you would when throwing seated. I say this is a fruit bowl, it's actually going to be a sink and um, I've done one before or two before two before um, and they're quite easy if you get the right fitting so if you get a fitting um, well I say this I haven't done the fitting part of it just the throwing but um, you can get plugs for um, sinks with no external um, overflow and they'll give you the dimensions which makes it um, easy enough in all that you've got to do is put splitting that which is not what I want to be doing Yeah, you just calculate what your shrinkage would be. Uh, I'll put the formula in the post description. But it's very simple. I'm 
just divide by 100% minus your clay shrinkage. So if your clay shrinks 10%, you divide by 90% or divide by 0.9. And that gives you the size you need to put it in at. And you want to do it, that will be from wet to fired. So you don't want to leave it too late because otherwise it'll have already shrunk some and that number won't be right. But you can do it while trimming or do it while it's still on the bat the next day once the clay's firmed up a bit. I have to pull more clay up from the bottom more aggressively. Far more aggressively actually this is like once the bowl's big enough that you want to keep the wheels slower this is where it starts to get weird for me because I can't ever quite work out how not to end up inadvertently making it almost swirly by moving my hands too fast marker isn't strictly speaking relevant I just wanted a higher marker to kind of aim for so it doesn't matter that I've got a way to go out I can sacrifice some of the height that's not going to be a problem does get quite awkward with throwing standing is if you want to keep your foot on the pedal you have to be very careful with that foot how you balance your weight and if you don't keep that foot on the pedal you have to make sure you don't need to change the speed mid pole with the base thickness so my trusty garage tools F4 this makes this part much easier I might have in the past called it an F8 which is not uh, that one's even bigger but actually given how I'm not even using, I'm probably only using three quarters of it on this, maybe not even that. The F8 is massive. But it's really useful being able to take the whole of the wall of the bowl down in one go. Not only 
don't bring it all down in one go. Also bring it down in a nice continuous smooth shape. So I am a couple of centimetres short of where I was aiming. But the good thing is that I set that to 38 for a bowl that I wanted to be 33 to 35, so that means I've easily got 35. Um, and I will take them all slightly further down. As I say, this is going to be a sink, so it does need some depth to it. But I think that should be a nice. And you're not going to fill this. better than I expected. Got a nice continuous curve all the way to the plug, as in I don't have a bump there. Uh, got a nice thickness throughout and a chunky enough rim that shouldn't break off. And your bowl you seem to be a bit more durable. Too big for that, but I think I'll just trim that in. I'll get a picture back once the I'll, I'll definitely share a picture of the finished bowl on Instagram. Finish sink once I've added the hole. Hopefully, I'll get a picture of it in its new home once it's plumbed in. That might be a little while, but um, remind me if I forget to post it and you want to see the end result because I'm quite bad at following up. But yeah, that's a. Uh, through better than I was expecting, given how long it's been since I tried that. Uh, I think it helps that this clay is more consistent. The PF580 gets a bit wobbly. Um, I'm always pleasantly surprised with this clay how much easier it is. They're both quite, they're both nice throws to, nice clays to throw, but uh, somehow this one just scales up. I reckon I could throw something quite big in it, whereas the PF580, I'm not sure I could. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Moderately sized bowl.